Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you're receiving this error, secure boot is not enabled, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now to fix it, you have to make changes in the BIOS. Now before you make changes in the BIOS, let me inform you, if you're not used to making changes in the BIOS settings, contact system manufacturer customer support team. They will help you with that because incorrect configuring BIOS settings can cause issues with your PC, including no boot issues. Also, if you're using pin to log into your computer, so after you make changes in the BIOS, then make sure that you have the Windows login password because it'll, you'll be needing the password to log in instead of PIN. Now, before you make changes, type in MS Info 32 or you can type in system information in Windows search box, click on system information. Now over here, you can check secure boot state. In my case, it is already off. And also type in TPM tpm.msc in Windows search box and then click on tpm.msc. Now over here, uh, you can see compatible TPM cannot be found. Now to fix it, uh, before you make changes, you can, if you want to, uh, you can go to EA website and you can get the details uh, about how to use secure boot on your PC. You can go through this and then you can check. You can even go to Microsoft website and here you can see how to enable secure boot on different brands. Now to fix it, you have to go to the system BIOS. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, uh, go to Windows update and then go to advanced option over here and then you will see recovery option click on recovery here you can see advanced startup option you have to click on restart now now once the computer restarts you will see choose an option screen now go to troubleshoot over here and then go to advanced option over here and then over here you will see an option uefi firmware settings click on it and then you will see restart option so hit restart over here now it will take you to the system BIOS. Now over here you can find boot option. In my case, it's boot configuration. Uh, make sure BIOS boot, the boot sequence is set to UEFI. So in my case, it is already UEFI. And then you can scroll down and, and find the secure boot option. So in my case here, you can see secure boot and this is disabled. So uh, you have to enable the secure boot. So enable and once you enable it, now at that bottom you will see apply changes option so hit apply changes and then are you sure you want to apply the changes then you have to click on ok over here and then in my case it's security option to enable tpm 2.0 you can go to security and then for intel users here you can see uh, ptd that is intel platform trust technology if this is off you can turn it on and then at the bottom again hit apply changes over here and then again click on ok and at the bottom right you will see exit option so once you make changes now hit exit after the system restart you can try to log in as i told you it will be the pin option is gone from here so now you can you go to sign in option and then you can use this key password option and then you can enter the password for your computer and then log in now after the system restart you can launch the game you can even check in system information if you check it you will see secure boot is on and the tpm.msc uh, you can see uh, over here the TPM is ready to use and then now you can launch the game and you should be able to launch the game. So over here you can see the game is launching. So this is how you can fix the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.